than two weeks until the F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix returns for year two. We are not seeing the repaving of the entire track like last year, but there are still a number of major changes underway. Major traffic days are expected as well, making way for the fastest race cars in the world. Fox 5's Kim Passoff spent the night on the strip to show us the transformation. A street transforming to a racetrack. Barriers and lights for the nighttime race now line the route. The giant generators that will power the lights have also been brought in. Drivers will reach up to 215 miles per hour on the 3.8 mile Las Vegas Grand Prix track in and around the Strip. Something visitors from around the world will be paying top dollar to see. This is what the Bellagio Fountain Club built just for the event looks like right now. Last year, film was put on pedestrian bridges to block free views, but people were able to pull it off. Not this year. The bridges will look much different. On the pedestrian bridge south of Planet Hollywood over Harmon, the glass is still uncovered for now. There is a perfect view down onto the racetrack. But on the pedestrian bridge connecting the Cosmopolitan to Planet Hollywood, they have already put up the barriers over Las Vegas Boulevard. This year they are thick. There will be no way to see through them. There's also netting that's been set up overhead. Last year during an F1 safety briefing, Metro explained why it is all necessary. Now we can't allow for people to stop the flow of pedestrian traffic during this event and clog up the pedestrian traffic on the bridge and also for the driver's safety as well. We can't allow people to be on the bridges and be able to throw things down onto the track uh, below the bridges. People who work on the strip say they are already seeing major traffic slowdowns. How has the traffic been like for you this year? Uh, it's very chaotic, especially around Bellagio and like Caesars Palace is just like you're stuck. Abel Torres expects it to only get worse as race weekend nears. I try to leave like probably a little over an hour earlier just to be safe. The traffic is very hectic. Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And leading up to this year's race, Formula One launched a website to help people navigate closures around the race. It has the latest on construction affecting the strip and roads in the surrounding areas of the track. We have a link to it on our website, fox5vegas.com.